guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the Minecraft MHC. We are down in our tunnel. <laughs> Let's go into real mode so we can see what's going on. Just doing a little bit of mining. We're on day two. Um, don't have a ton of time left, so I don't know how much mining I actually want to do. What do we got for stuff? Not much. Do I have any iron? I have nine iron. That's really not enough. I would like to have, at very least, um, okay, there's some coal. That's always helpful. Um, hmm. It's early day two, so it is probably daylight outside. I hate to miss the daylight. We might have to go back upstairs during the day, just for the sake of not missing the daylight. Um, I do need to plant a tree. We are in a plains biome. Um, I can steal the wood from around the villagers. Uh, oh, right. I did upgrade, guys. Sorry. I'm, I'm jumping around a little bit because I'm really not prepared to record right in this moment. It's been a rough couple days. My truck broke down. Um, just had a lot going on, but what I started to say, what what got my attention, is see how I'm not jumping? I'm just like automatically... I don't know if you can tell because I guess it looks like I'm jumping, but I'm not. I'm not having to hit the space bar to walk up these blocks, and the reason is I did upgrade to um, 1.10, which is the, the latest snapshot, and it allows you to just walk up. So actually the spare... the, the ha ha, I can't even talk straight. Stairs are kind of useless now, actually. Technically. There's some redstone. That's right. I did pass some gold. Ugh. Frustrating. Oh, where's, oh, there's my stairs. Yeah, so I don't actually have to jump. I don't know if it... Um... Oops, but right here I do. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't have... St Come on, really? Helps if you do it right. Since I've already got a stairway started, I'm going to just go ahead and um, put these stairs in. At least this part. Just so. And, yeah. That's going to be a long day, guys. It really is. <laughs> so, I started to say my truck did break down. There wasn't anything good in there. No, okay. Um, so I've had a little bit of trouble. It's nothing major, though. I'm actually very lucky. I have a really excellent mechanic who has just been awesome and... Uh, it's raining out. Glorious. Okay, so we have some stuff here. It is raining out, which stinks. I hate rain in Minecraft. It's my least favorite thing in the entire world. Um, hello, guys. I do not have a pick. Kind of stinks. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, hi, dude. I'm hearing a zombie somewhere, and I'm assuming he's inside one of these houses. Let's uh, throw a torch down in here, because the zombies will get in there. Or they will actually spawn in there, I should say. Actually, the zombie could be about anywhere because um, it is raining out, so that's obviously... Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. I'm, for the moment, going to steal some blocks. I'm going to replace them with some of this cobble that I have. I apologize if you're getting a lot of uh, background noise. My stepdaughter is vacuuming her bedroom. We've been working really hard to get the house uh, situated. And it's just been a lot of stuff going on right now. So let's see. Let's get some sticks. That's the main thing I need. Because um, I do want to make a few torches. At least a few. There. those out of my way. Where'd my torches go? Didn't I just make torches? 
I know I did. Oh, there they. Duh. Jeez. Wow, guys. Uh, you know, do you even Minecraft? Seriously. <laughs> oh, guys. I'm telling you, it has been a long week. I am clearly very tired. Oh, there's our zombie friend. What's up, dude? Sup? Sup? Okay. Well, whatever. You're stuck down the hole. Hopefully for good. Um, I don't know if he can actually get out of there or not, but whatever. I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna take that. But I'm only gonna make an axe um, out of cobble because I'm cheap. Just for the convenience of being able to steal the villagers wood. Sorry guys. Um, I did confirm with Michael that it is perfectly okay to steal from the villagers. Um, as far as uh, taking stuff from their chests and looting their gardens and so on. I do not intend to steal from the villagers in the sense that um, if I use their crops and so on I will replace them. If I take things like the wood around there. Um, things like I'm doing right now, I will replace that with cobble. You know, so we could even call this an aesthetic improvement. <laughs> it's not really, I, I don't think, but whatever. The wood looks perfectly okay to me, but whatever, it's, it is what it is. I need the wood, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> Um, but I'm not. I'm gonna try not to damage the village in any way because our part of our um, what we're supposed to be doing here is uh, to protect the villagers from the zombie invaders. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to protect the villagers and then destroy their their village. So yeah, we're gonna try to be responsible citizens, and anything we plant or anything we break, we'll replant, and so on and so forth. So aside from that, guys, it has been an eventful week. Like I said, my car broke down. We were actually, I took Mike. Um, it was his birthday this week. He turned 60, which was very exciting. Yes, he is a little bit older than I am by about uh, 16 years, which sounds like a lot to some of you guys who are younger, but at my age, it's not that big a difference. My, um, ooh, geez, hi guys. My own parents were 20 years apart, so to me, um, it's not that big a, a difference in age. Okay, I already picked up my iron. I'm going to try to get some more iron. Well, you know what, for right now, because I have no armor at all, I'm going to go ahead and make a breastplate. There, so it's at least something that I have to protect myself with. Go ahead and make some bread because I desperately need to eat. And oh crud. Now that I have some sticks and I have a little bit of wood, I can make some pickaxes to carry myself through here at least. And let's see, we're going to do that. So we'll get two picks out of the deal. And I'm also going to just make a stone sword just to say I've got a sword. Um, there. I'm going to go back down and try to find some more iron. Because I feel like I'm not going to survive the nights. That's the, the biggest problem with these challenges is... Oh crud, in order to get that gold and stuff I need to get an iron sword. Or an iron sword, iron pickaxe. Um, I think we started to go this way, and yes, this turned out to be a rather large cave area. And that's where I got the iron. I remember now, guys. I'm sorry, it's taken me a little bit to remember what I was doing. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go wandering through lava, so yeah. I think we're going to go back into our... I mean, I can get up over there into those cave systems, but that seems like a bad idea at this point. Um, in fact, I'll put a torch there to remind myself that I've been that way already. I don't desperately need gold. The only reason to collect gold at this point would be to... Um, I'm just going to avoid this gravel. Would be to build a clock. 
which could be really useful because it would help me oh, crud, help me keep an eye on the days, but it's not really a necessity. And I, I hate to waste iron until I get more iron. Um, I don't like to waste it doing things like that. Let's get some. Let's use up this charcoal just for giggles. And grab some more torches. And I apologize, guys. This is two episodes in a row that's pretty much just mining. But I really do desperately need iron. And this is Minecraft, after all. So I will try to think of something a little more interesting to talk about. Um, so we saw the Ninja Turtles movie. If you guys didn't know, um, I am a huge Ninja Turtles fan. I have been a Ninja Turtles fan since I was 12. The comics first came out. I used to steal my brother's comic books and read them when I was a little girl. You gotta understand too, my brother was 10 years older than I am. He's my next oldest sibling. And he was like my idol. Anything he did, I wanted to be just like him. So, like I said, I, his comic books, I would take them every opportunity I had to be able to read his comics. Things like that. And um, Ninja Turtles was just, he wasn't as into them as I got into them. But yeah, he was he was a big comic book uh, person until he left. I was eight when he left for the Air Force. So um, at any rate, long story short, I started reading comics when they came out in 1984. So when the um, the show first arrived in 1987, I was a big fan. I started watching it um, when I was 15. I actually almost got into an argument in school because some kid referred to them as karate frogs. And I was like, really? Karate frogs? Are you stupid? Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Big fan. Have been for a long time. The new movies, the new cartoons from Nickelodeon. Ugh, guys, I, I won't even go into all the reasons that they have sadly disappointed me and most fans. Actually, I'm not the only one. Um who is really disappointed in some of the things they've done. However, it is really exciting to see, even though it's not, it's not the turtles I know and love so much as it is, it's exciting to see. I get little kids coming into my store all the time. Most of you know by now that I, I work in a retail store. Um, it's my other job um, when I'm not freelance writing. And it's, it's fun. I enjoy it. But I see little kids coming into my store all the time now wearing turtle gear. And we sell quite a lot of... Uh, I work for a dollar store and we sell a lot of turtle stuff. Um, so it's cool to see. And not only are the new turtles... You know, they've actually... Uh, Nickelodeon is, is really... Um, they've got a lot of really smart marketers. So they're not only selling and marketing the, uh, the new stuff that is you know that's coming out they've they've actually oh apparently do have to jump up to go backwards up things so that's interesting um they're marketing the old 80s turtles they're marketing even i've seen some 2003 turtles which was a much darker and um cartoon it followed the uh, comic book storyline much more closely than oh 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 goodness, what have we found here? A really, really dangerous place, but... But, seriously... How can I not? It's a mine shaft, guys. Holy cow. This is an amazing discovery. If... You can see... If you're doing this... Uh, I guess I'm glad I made a... Uh, sword. So it does sound like we got some bogeys. Um... Okay, let's maybe not go that way. If you're playing, you can see my coordinates. So, uh, you know where I am. I don't know how far into this I'm going to go because, wow, this looks really dangerous. But, yeah, look what we found, huh? And it does sound as if there may be a, a spider spawner nearby. Hmm. All right, well. Try 
trying to figure out what this is blocking here. Not much of anything, I guess. Unless there's something else up there. I don't really feel like... I don't want to go too... Okay, there's my tunnel. I don't want to go too far. I mean, if there is a spider spawner in here, that could be really bad. And I'm hearing zombies, so I'm guessing there's probably something. Something bad up here. <laughs> okay, I think what's happening is this fence post right here is in our way. <gasps> I see diamonds, guys. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's uh, do that, because that's obviously a spider spawner, and we don't really need to be dealing with spiders. I did, however, find... <gasps> I can't get the diamonds, because I have been... Oh. Okay, hang on. Let me do this, just to make ourselves a little safer. Let me do that, just so nothing can come up on us from behind. We're safe here. Relatively speaking. Oh, this is such an exciting find, and I'm scared witless right now because... Yeah, you can hear what it sounds like. Um, yikes. So let's get a furnace. And put that there. And let's cook up some of our iron. We are not going to stay down here because obviously this is going to be a bad scene. But we are not leaving without them diamonds, I'll tell you right, right now. We must have a zombie spawner nearby. So now we know what's causing the zombie sieges. Come on, I need three. Okay, I do have some food. One more. Yes. Oh, right. I'll put this back down so I can... Oh, where's my wood? Am I out of handles? Yikes. You listen to those mob sounds. Holy cow. Oh, that is not good, guys. Okay. Now we're in business. Alright, so we're going to let the rest of that iron cook up. We are getting uh, one diamond. Seriously, it's not even enough to make a sword. Really? That's all we get out of that. One diamond. Oh, wow, well, that's nice. Um, oh, that's not the right way. I'll do it this way. Ah, I can't believe we didn't get more diamonds than that. Okay, well, guys, if you find diamonds, if you're playing, like I said, and you find diamonds, now you know where to get one more. Yikes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of this gold, just because why not, right? Oh man, you make me jump down there. Alright, well with the lava right there we should be relatively safe. But I do not plan to stick around down here. This is obviously an extremely dangerous spot. Yeah, let's get... Oh, what have I got that I can get rid of? Crud. Um, well, you know, I don't need this fence. I can just place that somewhere. Oh, this is a little bit nerve-wracking. Um, let's see... You know what, we'll use that to uh, hopefully finish up the rest of the cooking. I don't think I'm going to stick around down here, guys. Oh, it's day three. Holy crap. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope that this helps some of you who are playing. And uh, next time we're going to go up top and we're going to do some, some uh, you know, something besides mining. And we're going to get the heck out of this place because holy cow. All right. It's been fun. Uh, wow, that was interesting. 
<laughs> Remember, guys, big scary world out there. So be kind. Be kind to one another and to yourselves. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.